Hey guys, Kevin Pooler here from Metalworks Institute and I'm here today to show you how to make an 808 style kick drum. A uh, little history quickly, the 808 was a fascinating drum machine from Roland in the 1980s called the TR-808 and we're now in Reason's Thor and I have my MIDI controller here hooked in to Thor to trigger it. So we're going to get an emulation of the 808, but we're going to try and get pretty close, or as close as possible. Uh, first, we need to start with the purest waveform we have in this oscillator, which is in any oscillator, sine wave. Hear how it has that low quality to it already when you play it at the right octave. But what we need to do to it first is give it a percussive quality, okay? Just to demonstrate that, we have our sustain down, our release down, decay time down, amplitude, uh, our attack time all the way down. Now, there you go, you have a percussive, kind of almost like a weak tom, or a pitched percussion. Um, so that's a sine wave being plucked, I would call it, or quickly decaying out. Now. The next step we have to uh, consider is how do we get the pitch of this to change over time? So we need to use this modulation envelope, which currently isn't assigned to anything inside of Thor. And in other words, it's just an envelope that we're going to use to assign on the pitch of the oscillator one. And listen to that when I deliver some amount here. Okay, there you go, 1980s Tom right there. Okay, so that is good and all, it sounds fun, and uh, you definitely hear that in some trap songs lately. But we're going to take a few steps further here. We're going to first um, see what is going on. I'd like you to understand that this pitch sweep over here is happening at the decay time. Okay, so as I lower the decay time, it says here 2.5. Four, eight seconds but if we keep going something like this okay we're almost half a half a second here or, oh I accidentally raised that there we go okay we're about half a second or less now 300 milliseconds so the pitch sweep is happening rather quickly and depending on our amount here of pitch sweep that's how high the pitch sweep starts and decays down to. So let's kind of tune that to sound more like an 808. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now, again, I'm going to kind of go back to my amp envelope and we're going to introduce some release time, which is essentially the time it takes for our sound once we let go of the MIDI controller, uh, the sound it takes, or the time it takes to decay out. Notice how we're getting that 808 length on there pretty pretty uh, quickly. Okay, now polyphony of one is a good idea when doing this because now we don't have any overlapping notes. We're only allowed to play one note at a time. Okay, so finally let's try some little tricks out here. When we add some shaper, which is a distortion unit, we're going to be introducing extra harmonics into the signal uh, that might not have been or aren't in the sine wave, but might be useful in fact. So have a listen to this. Okay, we're getting quite close to that 808. And what I always do is kind of set up a basic patch with the proper signal flow and then go in and fine-tune some of these um, areas just to get it sounding how I have it in my head which has been it's been ingrained in my head for a long time so let's work on that a little bit a little more distortion let's bring that get that click out okay I put my attack time slightly too low Thor's famous for this and a lot of amp envelopes you need a little tiny touch of attack time to get rid of that click okay so not bad the other thing we can try uh, is a tri wave and a triangle wave is essentially 
uh, every other harmonic is present in the signal. So we get a little more like we've distorted it. Let's have a, let's have a listen to that. And filter it a bit, less or more. So there you go, a nice 808 sound. Uh, and you fine tune it based on your production. And then all I got to say is watch out Drake. So thanks for checking us out. And uh, if you'd like to learn more, check out metalworksinstitute.com.